Hello all, welcome back. Most of us are very curious to learn and implement containerizations in our project. So here I have come up with a very basic and simple project to see how we can deploy and applications into the Docker container. It will be very simple image and container creations for the beginners to learn and practice. So let's start. Let's see how we can set up all these things step by step. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, please do subscribe now. So we'll get notified when I add more videos on my channel. So here is the flow which we are going to create. First, we'll create the Docker file and build that Docker file to create an image. And then we'll run that image to create a container out of that. So we'll see all this process step by step. So let's start. Before moving forward, let's understand the different Docker objects. So let's see what is Docker file. The Docker file is a text document that contains all the commands a user could call on the command line to assemble an image. So the Docker build command builds an image from a Docker file and a context. So let's see what is Docker image. Docker image is a type of recipe or template which can be used for Docker daemon creating the Docker containers, including the steps for creating the necessary subchart. So you can use Docker build to build the image from the Docker file. So let's see what is container. A container, a Docker container is a type of virtual machine which is created from the instructions found within the Docker image. It is a running instance of a Docker image which consists of an entire package required to run an application. So you can use docker run to run a container out of that image. So let's create a docker file and build an image out of that. I am into the directory where I have kept the project related files. So if you see it here, the webwaf is a project directory which contains all the CSS files, JavaScript files, and all the HTML files for the application to run. And this directory, this directory will be my context directory where I'm going to build an image. Okay, so to build the image, let's write a Docker file. So I'm going to write a simple Docker file. I'm using vi editor Docker file so when you are writing docker file make sure that d is in upper case and the docker file and it says simple text file and first things whenever you write a docker file you have to use the base image to write and add new layers into that to write the base image you have to use from httpd i'm going to use this httpd base image and on this top and on this top of the base image i'm going to add more layers so here i'm going to add copy my project directory webwaf all the contents in my project directory to the httpd server's home directory so that is user local apache2 then st docs so if, if you have some experience or knowledge on httpd server apache httpd server you may be aware like stdocs is the working directory of apache server so it contains all the html files and the, the starting point of your application like it contains all your html file javascript css everything will be stored into this stdocs then when you uh, when you start the server and the application it will uh, it will get the update it will get the application file from this folder okay so next i'm going to add as a working directory so i'll make the stdocs is my working directory so this working directory will be our when we spin up the container this will be our working directory okay so this is a very simple docker file uh, you can write you can add more layers or you can write more commands based on your requirements so let's save it now so our docker file is ready now let's build this docker file and create an image so to create an image we can use docker build hyphen t and give a name to the image like the image suppose i'm going to give as my sttpd 
and dot so dot is the from the current context like the dot means current folder so the current folder is the demo folder from this folder it will build the image file so hit enter you can see it here now the step one it got the httpd the base image from there we copied this web app folder to our stdocs folder and the, set the working directory as stdocs okay and you can see here it successfully built the image now if you see whether the image is created or not just use docker image ls it will show you the email list of the images so here you can see our image my httpd is created the tag is latest and the image id okay suppose if you want to create and give a tag to your image you can use as same command docker build hyphen t give a name like my httpd my httpd and give a tag like 1.0 and the current context hit enter and if you see it here it also created another image with a tag 1.0 see here created another image with tag 1.0 now let's create a container out of this image to create a container we need to use the command called docker run and give hyphen t so i'm going to run this container in the background uh, so docker run hyphen t and give a name to the container suppose i'm going to give as my app and publish the container port so that we can able to connect from the internet so it's a 80 colon 80 so remember this left hand side 80 is your host port and this 80 right hand side is your container port and httpd server by default runs on port number 80 okay and then give the image name so here i'm going to give my httpd give a tag like i'm going to give a tag 1.0 is going to run the container so hit enter sorry so it's a typo error instead of http i gave fttpd so just correct it fttpd and hit enter so you can see here a container is created out of this image now if you see if the container is running or not or is created or not just use docker container ls see our container is now created and running if you see here created 16 seconds ago and the status is up and if the ports is forwarded to 80 and container name is my app now let's connect to the container and see our application is running so to connect this container what you need we need the ip address of the server where your container is running this is my ip address and just go to the browser paste the ip address and port number is 80 right just hit enter see our application now is up and running you can see this is a simple web application where i just deployed into a container and this is up and now running you can see here in this way you can deploy or create a container or deploy an application into it okay now what do we do let's create another container out of the same image and we'll see and this time we'll uh, publish the port to a different port let's let's do that this time i'm going to create another container docker run hyphen t and just give a name to the container name my app suppose i'm going to give as a new name app one so remember you cannot give the same name as the previously running container it will throw error because the container is already running with the same name so i've just gave a different name to that my app one and publish the port so as this as previously the port is already published with the host port 80 so we have to now give a different port give 82 
lead zero and make sure you have given a security group uh, you have given ac appropriate access to this port number 82 okay the firewall access is opened for this 82 port now give the image name stpd 1.0 hit enter okay another container also created so let's see how many containers are now running docker container ls we have now two containers running one is my app and the other one is my app one and it's created nine seconds ago so let's connect to this second container how you will connect just go to your browser okay copy the ip address of your uh, content of your server where container is running just paste it here okay instead of 80 you have to put 82 if you hit enter see now the second container also open running so in this way you can run multiple containers from the image so in this lecture we learned how to build the docker file and create an image and how we can create container out of that image file and how we can deploy the applications into different or into multiple containers so be tuned i'm going to add more lectures and more uh, projects on this docker i'm going to create uh, multiple images and uh, we'll create multiple versions of the images and we'll try to add new layers into that and create multiple um, uh, multiple containers and running and also i'll show you how we can use docker compose to create multiple container and link the containers with each other okay uh, so thanks for watching till end uh, if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe so that you will get notified when i add more videos on this docker and docker compose if you have any doubt or any questions please do comment me in the comment section below i'll try to answer your questions thank you